Shalom, shalom. Shani po. The purpose of this presentation is to outline the similarities between ancient Hebrew and Bantu speaking languages of Eastern, Central and Southern Africa, which I am familiar with. Now, is it a coincidence that ancient Hebrew contains so many Bantu words? My people perish for lack of knowledge. It is a well-known fact that it's what we don't know that actually destroys us. There is a lot of knowledge, there is a lot of research that has been done and is still being done by people who want to dig further, who want to know where the Bantu languages originate from. And also they want to know why is it that the words themselves are similar to ancient uh, Hebrew and not just ancient Hebrew. African history through oral traditions language and writings of the early explorers provide valuable information on different kingdoms and empires which existed during the different era. West Africa had Songhai, Ghana and Benin kingdoms, while Southern Africa was known for kingdoms such as Great Zimbabwe, Roswe and Zulu, just to name a few. The Kingdom of Congo was located south of the Congo River, present-day Angola and Democratic Republic of the Congo. Historically, it covered parts of West Africa, Central Africa, the western side of the coast, as well as the eastern side, and the southern part of Africa. The Lubalunda Kingdom was a complex of states that flourished in Central Africa in the present-day Democratic Republic of the Congo from the late 15th to the late 19th century. The current Lunda population can be found in Angola, Congo DRC and Zambia. In Zambia they are divided into East and West Lunda. The Eastern Lunda speak a Chiwemba language which is a collection of Luba Lunda vocabulary. Language is dynamic and one pronunciation may be different depending on the geographical location. For example, the name Smith, which changes to Schmidt in German or Eastern European languages. Other examples are Peter, Petro, Pavre, Piotr. Chiwemba, Ichiwemba, Chiwemba is a major Bantu language spoken in Zambia and to a lesser extent in Katanga in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, in Tanzania and in Botswana. Including all these dialects, Bemba is the most spoken indigenous language in Zambia. In Hebrew, Jewish people are known as Ben Yehuda, which sounds similar to Benalunda from northern Zambia. Avena meaning children of and Lunda the people. Again, is this a coincidence? Well, stay tuned and hear more that will not only shock you but compel you to start exploring these Bantu languages and their connections to ancient Hebrew. I am using Bantu languages as there is so much similarity in these languages that it is easy to learn another if you are fluent in one or most of them. And in front of us, we have the Hebrew alphabet, the ancient Hebrew alphabet. There is no need to memorize any letter at this point, but it's just to know or just a simple understanding of how they sound like. Shalom, 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 bro.